Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to Ink Kids. Today we're going to be reading some stories and singing some songs together. Today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you. Today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you. And this is the day that God has made. I'm going to put a smile on my face. This is the day that God has made. I'm going to put Today is a brand new day, and I want to say thank you. Today is a brand new day, and I want to say thank you. And this is the day that God has made. I'm gonna put a smile on my face. This is the day that God has made. I'm gonna put a smile on my face. Clap your hands. a high five everybody sing with me today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you Hi everyone, welcome to In Kids TV. My name's Cherie and I'm going to read you the story this morning. Our story this morning is called When Jesus Was Twelve. When Jesus was twelve years old, he went with Joseph and Mary, his mum and dad, to the temple at Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover. It was a special time to thank God. Jesus walked along with his family and friends. He loved going to the temple. Afterwards, everyone walked home together. But soon, Joseph and Mary couldn't find Jesus. They hurried back to look for him. Jesus had gone to the temple by himself to hear the wise men and teachers reading God's words. Jesus talked to the teachers. They were surprised how much he knew about God. They didn't know Jesus was the Son of God. At last, Mary and Joseph found him in the temple. We thought you were lost, Mary said. I am here in my father's house, Jesus told her. Afterwards, Jesus went straight home with them. But Mary never forgot how much Jesus loved God's word, even when he was just a little boy. Can you remember what Jesus was doing when Mary and Joseph found him in the temple? That's right. He was sitting and he was listening and he was asking questions and he was helping people to learn about God and how to be God's friend. Do you know Jesus wants to be your friend too? So how can we get to know him better? Let's think. One way is that you could pray to him. And praying to Jesus is just talking to him, just like you and I are talking now. You could ask an adult to help you read God's word, just like we've been doing our stories in the Bible. You might even ask an adult to get you a Bible if you don't have one at home. We hope that as you learn and as you hear the Bible stories, that you will know how much God loves you and how much he wants to be your friend. Have a great day. Are you ready for the Jesus Hokey Pokey? Here we go. Two. 
You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus, He will turn your life around, and that's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in, and you shake it all about. If you give your heart to Jesus, He will turn your life around, and that's what it's all about. Here we go! Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus, He will turn your life around. And that's what it's all about. Left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus, He will turn your life around, and that's what it's all about. Here we go! Give your heart to Jesus, give your heart to Jesus, give your heart to Jesus, and that's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in, and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn your life around, and that's what it's all about. Whole self, you put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn your life around. And that's what it's all about. One last time. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. Hi, amazing kids. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Kelly. And this is my amazing bird, Rosie. She's an eclectus. Say hi, Rosie. This week's craft, we are going to do Jesus in the temple. It will look just like this. Okay, let's get creative. For your first step, you need to carefully color in the church, which is the temple, your Jesus, and then carefully cut it out. When you're cutting it out, you might need an adult to help you to cut the doors so they can open and close. All right, let's go. Well done. Now it's time to glue your temple and your baby Jesus on and your Bible verse. Remember when you're gluing, not to put glue on the insides of the doors, otherwise they won't be able to open and close. It's been so much fun doing craft with you this week and I hope that you'll join Rosie and I in next week's craft. Don't forget to ask your parents to upload a photo of you doing your amazing work. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.